Before we install WordPress, we need to install a few PHP modules without which certain features in WordPress will not work properly. The first one is PHPGD. The second module is PHP XML without which demo import in themes and features like XML import won't work. Now install Viget, otherwise we won't be able to use the Viget command to download WordPress. Now we are going to download WordPress. Make sure that you are in your home directory. Use this command to download WordPress. WordPress has been downloaded, but before we install WordPress, we are going to create a database and user for our WordPress installation. Now we are going to log in into MariaDB MySQL database management system, which we installed in one of my previous videos. Now give your database a name. The name is entirely up to you. A new database has been created. Now we are going to grant all privileges and create a database user. Now enter the database name you created in the previous step. Here you can enter any username you want. Enter a strong password here and make sure it's inside the single quotes. A new user has been created. I am copying all these details because it will be needed during the WordPress install. Use Ctrl C to copy. Now navigate to the document root. I have already showed you in my previous video how I created my domain directory. Just to keep it clean, delete any useless file that is there inside the directory where you are going to install WordPress. I am going to delete this index.html file. Now go back to your home directory where you uh, downloaded WordPress. Now we are going to extract the contents of latest.tar.gz to the directory where we want to install WordPress. In my case, it is this one. This C is uppercase, not lowercase. So now we have all the required WordPress files and directories.
with this command we are going to create an uploads directory inside the wp content directory next we need to create a wordpress configuration file with the contents of sample configuration file Now we need to edit the wp config file and I am going to use the vi editor. I had previously copied the database details and it was for this moment. Press i to go into the insert mode in the vi editor. Uh, delete this and right click paste and the host is localhost now press escape colon wq to save and quit this file next create a .htaccess file using the vi editor or any other editor you prefer now copy this code it is in the video description below Now save and quit this file. Next we need to change the ownership of WordPress files and directories. So the owner and group of these files and directories has been changed to Apache. Now go to your domain name and you will see this WordPress installation page. It is also possible to access this page using the IP address but I prefer the domain name. Choose your language. This brings us to this page enter anything you like So this is it, we have successfully installed WordPress. This brings me to the end of this video and in the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to set up the Cloudflare SSL.